Sheffield I was aiming to secure an individual spot in the 400 and the 200 freestyle. I uh, just missed out on the 400 in the last lap. Uh, but on the 200 freestyle I managed to secure my individual spot. Um, I won the race in a new best time. Uh, it's good because I wasn't fully rested for it and, and to be able to secure a best time so close to the games without being fully rested for it is it's, it's a good sign for the games and hopefully I can break uh, David Davis's Welsh record. It's, I'm only 0.3 away from it now and that's my aim for, uh, for time-wise. Because you'd already qualified for the relay, were you more relaxed or did it put more pressure on then that uh, you didn't get into the into the 400? I mean, how, how, did, it, how did you feel? Um, I think at the start of the year my aim was just to get into the team and having uh, already achieved that, uh, there was less pressure on me. But obviously in the back of my head I really wanted an individual because this, I think having an individual will help me for the future and you know to get used to racing something bigger on my own, not just with the team. Has tra training, training been different in um, any way? No, training's been exactly the same. You know, um, obviously, what I've been doing is working, and you know, I put all my intention into making the Olympics, um, and I put all my hard work into that. So, if I carry on doing the same, I should keep improving and, and hopefully uh, put some good performances at, in at the Olympics. You want to break David's uh, record, but have you been asking him for any any tips or advice? Oh, you know, Dave's told me some good stories from the previous Olympics, you know, he's getting really, really excited for the Games. Um, you know, he's very experienced and, you know, he went to the Games at 19, you know, and I've just turned 19 today, so it'd be, it's good for me to you know, have someone like that telling me the ways, you know, telling me the stories and telling me the ups and downs of the Games. So uh, what else has been going on? So you've got your, got your kit on, what was, what was that like going up there to get your, get your kit? Yeah. Did, did you get to go up and, and get it yourself? Yeah, me and Dave drove up um, to get our kit together. It was, it was a nice little trip up to Loughborough. We did some training up there, had some lectures and, and some talks. And it was good to bond with the team again. And we did our kitting out with the Welsh crew together. And it was, it was great to experience something like that. It was so much kit and, and to try everything on. It's really exciting to see you know, what I'll be wearing for my country and hopefully I can make the rest of the country proud. So what, what happens next then when you're off to London? Uh, on the 16th of July uh, we leave, uh, we go up to London uh, for a few days to check out the village and stuff like that. Then we go for a training camp in Edinburgh um, with the whole team and then fly back just before the opening ceremony um, and then we get ready for the Games. Anything you're particularly looking forward to about the whole experience? Uh, obviously I want to get in and swim uh, against the best in the world, meeting some sort of great world swimmers would be, be amazing and also outside of swimming you know there's a few famous uh, sports stars that I would like to meet like Usain Bolt and people like that it'd be great you know, to get in there and show that you know I'm not someone that's young and just enjoys the sport I want to be in there and be with the best. I bet after all the talk now you just can't wait to get there. Yeah I know it's so exciting it's only a week to go now the time has gone so quickly and uh, the team's really excited and we've got a nice nice group of people together and it'd be a great experience.